Good morning and welcome to this tutorial on using the FAO data stat system. Uh, this is a wonderful aggregation of metrics on various parameters about each country um, over a, a long period of time uh, on many, many, many different attributes. Uh, so here we can look at production attributes, trade, food balances, food security metrics, and these are all the indices that have been uh, uh, maintained uh, on each country throughout time, um, and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful data set. So let's take an example. Let's look at production. And so I'm going to click on production, and what that does is that will bring me to a suite of information. On Here we have the uh, various production. Uh, you can see that that has been expanded. Here are other icons that we saw previously. But let's select now primary uh, livestock, so livestock primary. And when we select that item, we see that we have the uh, ability to select all the countries of the world or regions of the world or special groups like low-income families, landlocked, what have you. Uh, we can, uh, I'll go back to countries. And let's say we're interested in uh, maybe what's happening in China. Okay, for, so I'm going to come down here to China. And once you select a country, uh, you want to hold the control key down if you want to select another item. So I'll go down here to China. Uh, let's go down and pick up uh, India. Okay, there's India. And then we'll scroll all the way down to the U.S. Okay, the United States of America. So I've selected three countries. Uh, now you have to be careful when once you've selected countries, if you flip over to regions or special groups, it will wipe out your um, your country selection. So if you want to also include the world uh, summary figures, you have to run the analysis twice, one with the countries of interest and then also with the regions of interest and then merge them, uh, those data sets later. Over here we have the elements. And in this case, I'm going to select all of them. So I'm going to click on that. You can see all three of them are highlighted by blue. And down here are the actual items. So here, if we could, we might be interested in hides, meat, uh, milk. Uh, I think we'll focus on just, uh, let's look at milk from uh, fresh cows and milk from buffalo. So this would be your whole uh, fresh uh, buffalo cows and your regular dairy cows. And we could select other items, but of course it'll complicate your data set. Over here we have all the years, and so I'm going to select them all. Okay, uh, and so at this point we've made a query on the data set, and you can see there are many permutations and possibilities that can be done. Uh, we have um, China, India, and the United States as three countries. Uh, we have all the elements selected in terms of producing animals or slaughtered animals, yield or uh, production quantity. Uh, we have uh, whole milk, buffalo milk, uh, and then we have all the years selected. Um, so um, uh, I'm going to then hit Excel right here on the right. And what it'll do now is it will create, I'm going to push open, it will create a database of the items that I selected in a spreadsheet format. So here I'm looking at all the data. So there we can see India. If I go to the bottom of this, we can see there's China's data. So we have 709 li line items uh, reflecting the data that we, uh, we downloaded. Uh, now what we need is an easy, convenient way to look at this information. And perhaps the easiest way to do that is to throw this into a pivot table. So you do that by going First of all, clicking in this upper left-hand corner, and then type in, uh, click Insert, and select Pivot Table. And when you, once you've done that, you'll see this faint little bar um, all the way around your data set. So Excel automatically looks at, uh, at uh, what contiguous data you have and says that's the, the range that you're interested in. So that saves you a little bit of time rather than painting the whole range. And so I say OK. And what it does is it then creates this interesting um, summary of your table. So these are all the headings of the items that we downloaded. And you have the opportunity now to create your own table and how you want to look at this. So maybe, um, maybe I'm going to want to have year in my rows. So I'm going to bring year down here. And you can see that I have that uh, populated uh, there. I might want to bring uh, the item name. So if I bring the item name over here, uh, so there's my whole fresh cow, whole buffalo, and then the grand total. Uh, I might want to bring up the area name as a filter so that I can look at uh, by country. 
All right, so if I click up here, area name, we see there we have China, India, the United States. Uh, we might, I forget what was in element name, but we can look at that in terms of, um, okay, what items we want to, to measure. So do we want to measure the number of milk animals, their production or total yield? So I'll leave that like that. And then we bring the value that we actually are taking on each of these metrics down to the values. Now the default is for it to do a sum of values. What we often want to change that to is an average. So you come down and click uh, sum of values and change that to an average. Notice that you can do a lot of other calculations. You could do a count, sum, a min-max. So there's a lot of flexibility in this type of analysis and approach. So I'm going to go OK. And so uh, at this point, I'm looking at all the data, and it's uh, doing an average of it. And so we're averaging across countries, across the different um, animal numbers and milk yields. So we want to be specific. So I'll say, let's just look at China. So I'm going to select China. And also, let's just look at the number of milk animals. So I'll, I'll select that. And so this is the number of milk animals that they had, uh, fresh cows versus a buffalo. And we can see what's happened over time uh, to those numbers um, uh, uh, and, uh, and then graph that or do other, other items with it. Uh, there are wonderful ways, too, of flipping the data. Uh, so if we want, maybe we want to bring the element name down here and bring the, uh, the actual uh, 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 item up top. So now we're looking at the production uh, of um, across, uh, let's just look at fresh cows. So now I have the number of, of, of dairy cows, production and yield per cow per year. So tremendous um, uh, ways of manipulating what might have appeared to be a huge, huge data set. So I, I encourage you all to visit the FAO and try and mimic uh, this um, uh, creation of a pivot table. Uh, so download a data set and uh, try and create a pivot table so that you can uh, uh, look at what's happening to that country over time. Thank you.